We want to get back to that breaking news now that we've been following this morning. We just got brand new information on what police are now calling a hit and run with critical injuries at Penn Presbyterian Medical Center. Let's get back out to Ross DiMatte. He has been following this along at the scene. He has been working his sources. So what are they telling you now, Ross? Well, Jan, we promise to update our viewers with any new information we got about what exactly happened here outside of Penn Presbyterian Hospital. And we just got a bunch of new information confirmed by Philadelphia police. Let's start with that. They are currently investigating a hit and run that happened right here outside of the hospital that injured three Pres Penn Presbyterian nurses, as well as a shooting victim who was being dropped off here outside of the hospital. Take a look. It happened right around 430 this morning in the ambulance bay here at Penn Presbyterian Hospital. That's right outside of the hospital, right underneath that emergency awning there. Police tell us that a silver Jeep Cherokee driven by a man possibly in his early 20s hit four people who were in the bay and that led to some critical injuries. Three of the victims are nurses here at the hospital. One of them's a 37 year old man. He suffered injuries to his legs and is now in stable condition. Another is a 51 year old male nurse. That victim suffered injuries to his head and back. He is also listed in stable condition. And finally, a 36 year old male nurse. That victim suffered facial injuries as well as internal bleeding. He is now listed in critical condition here. Meanwhile, the fourth victim who was taken to the hospital by that Jeep Cherokee was shot, police say, on the 1300 block of Belmont Avenue. That's about a mile and a half away. And he came to the here to the hospital suffering from multiple gunshot wounds throughout his body. He is a 28 year old man who, uh, again, uh, shot multiple times. And he also may have suffered additional head injuries from that Jeep Cherokee that fled the scene as part of this hit and run. Now, we're told that all four of those vehicles are currently being treated here at Penn Presbyterian Hospital. And we're also told that police are still searching for the vehicle that hit those four victims and then took off possibly in a silver SUV. They're currently looking for that uh, hit and run driver who left the scene and they're also still investigating this as an active hit and run. As soon as we get any more updates, Jan, we'll pass those along to you. All right, back Ross, to you. thanks so much for those urgent breaking updates. Appreciate that. We'll be right back. Stay with us.